Hello guys, welcome to KB Tutorials. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can iterate over the list of web elements in Selenium WebDriver Java. So there were two ways of iterating over this list of web elements. So for that, I have taken one website called canva.com. Here, let me identify some web elements. something like this I am creating the customized X path here okay. Role is equal to So there were eight elements were there. Okay. So how we can iterate over them and how we can display the contents that are there in these elements onto the console that we'll see. So I have prepared my customized export. I'm going to utilize this as part of my script. So as you can see here, I have a one main class which I am setting up the Chrome driver and I am navigating to the canva.com using the Chrome driver. Okay. So here, what I am doing is find elements I am using by xpath. So by xpath and this is my xpath. And this xpath find elements going to return me the list of web element something like tabs i'll take something like tabs so this list will actually come from util class this one we need to import guys if we import awt list it's not going to work out and web element will come from here okay then once we have this elements into the list what i'll do is i'll use one simple for loop here which iterate from zero to the size of these elements that is presented in the list i plus plus okay so here i know that list is having web elements so i'll take one web element here q something like q okay and q is equal to what i'll do is tabs dot get of i so at each index i am going to get this web element and simply use q dot get text to get the data presented in it let me try to execute this and see what is the data available on the find elements as you can see script started executing and must have been completed now yeah now you could see it has completed now so using the simple for loop we can achieve this from i to length okay but is there any other way as well Yes, there is another for loop which is more efficient, which is I know it is having the list of web elements. So directly I'll use something like this J in the tabs. That means this list is having the web elements. Each and everything will be accessed from the web element directly instead of iterating over the length index like Simply, I can use like this j dot get text. Now, let me try to execute this and show you the output. Both will ideally result me the same. So, this is a different way of iterating over the list of web elements, and both efficient in their own ways. You could see 
it is completed so till here is a one and till here is a one and from there with the one logic and from here to here with the second logic okay both of them are useful i hope it's informative for you guys if you have any doubt do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching thank